Hi everyone, my name is Elsa Sanchez and I'm an Adobe consultant here at the University of Arizona and today we're gonna paint with Photoshop. I currently have an eye imported already in Photoshop and I have it in one layer. First off we're gonna outline the eye so for that we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer and we're gonna select the brush tool we're gonna go ahead and select whatever color we'd like. I'm gonna select black, make sure our layer is selected. And this is just for sketching, um, just so that we have kind of um, parameters of where we're gonna paint with darker shades or where we're gonna paint the iris and whatnot. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna start outlining the general shape of the eye. So now that we have everything outlined, I'm going to go ahead and go to my layer, make sure it's selected, and we're going to use the move tool to move the whole thing. You don't have to do anything, you can just select and move. Okay, so we have layer 1, which is our sketch, and we have eye, which is our image. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer. And this layer is gonna contain our painting. So we're gonna select the eyedropper tool. And this will basically help us um, start our color palette. And so as you can see, wherever I put my cursor on while clicking, it's gonna give me this sort of um, range of colors and so we're gonna proceed with selecting a color in between the highlights and the shadows so as you can see the highlights are right here and the shadows would be right here and so a color in between would be around here right so we're gonna select that color and we're gonna select the brush tool and once we select it you're gonna be able to see that you can increase the size of the brush with the right bracket and decrease it with the left bracket you can also go ahead um, and go to your brush settings and you can edit it right from there and so what we're gonna do is um, start painting um, sort of like a circle on our artboard and we're gonna start selecting different colors from the skin so these are the highlights and so what this is we're gonna start um, creating our color palette um, just so that we have an idea of the main colors that we're going to use within our painting. And right now we have our main color or base color. We have a highlight shade and a shadow shade. And we just want to select a color very similar from our base color. Um, just so that we can mix that one with our darker shade So I'm gonna select it from there and do the same just draw a circle right next to it So I'm just gonna go ahead and label this um, So that we know that this is our skin color palette and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of our image and I'm gonna create um, three more color palettes one for the iris one for the eyeball and another one for both the waterline and the tear duct
Okay, so we're gonna start blending our colors. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and go to our brush tool. We're gonna press for a couple of seconds and we're gonna see the drop down menu. And we're gonna select the mixer brush tool. So that would be the last one. And as you can see, this type of brush contains different um, properties such as these four on top. Um, so it would be wet, load, mix, and flow. And if you leave your cursor selected on all the types, it would tell you what each one of them do. And as for percentages, I'm just gonna leave them as they are, um, just for preference. So obviously if you wanted to um, change them, you could totally do that. I'm just using those um, numbers for blending because I'm used to using those. Okay, so we're gonna select our base color and we're gonna start blending both of the colors together by just painting over the two and we're gonna see that a lighter shade um, creates same as for the next one and we would do the same with the other um, shades just so that we have um, transition colors I like to call them that because when we start painting we're gonna notice that we are going to want to blend our colors seamlessly and we're just gonna go ahead and do the same with the other color palettes Okay, so now that we have all our transition colors done, we are going to select our normal brush tool. Um, and then we're gonna select the eyedropper tool, followed by selecting our base color for our skin. And we're gonna select our brush tool. And we're gonna start painting. As you can see, our sketch layer is under our painting layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our layer one, we're gonna click and we're gonna drag so that it is on top of our layer two, and we're gonna start painting. On this step, we're just gonna paint the skin because for the other areas of our eye we're gonna select different base colors and we're gonna paint those on so i just increase my brush size with the right bracket and i'm just painting all over the eye and it's okay if you go over the lines we're gonna clean those up with the other base colors and we're just gonna start doing the other base colors i just want to mention when i paint it usually consists of five steps um which would be picking colors from the picture creating the color palette adding colors to our painting um blending and finally would be reassessing and what reassessing means is that we're gonna notice that throughout our painting process we might need some more shadows or some more highlights and we're just gonna repeat that process again and again which is why you might notice a lot of um, speeding up throughout the video I just wanted to make that clear and as for this process, we're just finishing up putting down our base colors which was just using the eyedropper tool to select them and then painting them with our brush tool. And right now we're gonna just start selecting with the eyedropper tool um, the next colors. And we're 
we're gonna see from our range of colors which one we want to do next so right now i want to do highlights just because it's easier for me to blend those so i'm just gonna select that um ivory color and i'm just gonna start selecting them um based on the picture that we have on our left and yeah okay and now with the same process we're gonna select our eyedropper tool and we're gonna select our transition color and we're just gonna outline the highlight that we added just so that blending is easier for us so we have a transition shade in between the color of the skin and the actual highlight. Okay, so we're finishing that up. And next up, we're gonna just select once again our eyedropper tool, go back to our color palette. And you could totally just do it your own way, as in like follow your own process. But I'm just gonna start laying down the colors um, and then after that just laying down the transition colors as mentioned before. And right now I'm just laying down that last shade in our skin color palette. And this is because I just want to have an outline of where all my shadows go. So I'm just gonna select kind of like the darkest areas of the eye based on the picture and then I'm gonna start selecting the darkest um, shade from there and then the darkest from that one and so on. Okay, so we have finished with laying all our colors down and we're gonna select the mixer brush tool. We're gonna use the eyedropper tool to select um, the highlight. And then we're just gonna go up and down just to have that initial blend. And then we're gonna select um, the eyedropper tool, transition shade, and then do the same with the base color and depending on the shade that you have selected with your mixer brush tool that shade is gonna take precedence as in if you select a darker shade um, the darker shade is gonna transition into the lighter shade and if you have selected a lighter shade um, that lighter shade is gonna take over that darker shade and Right now I'm just doing circle motions to improve the blending. We're gonna go ahead and select our base color, do the same with the transition shade. And we're gonna just go ahead and do the same with the rest of the highlights. So we're just finishing up that highlight and we're gonna move on into the shadow so we're gonna select our base color as our mixed color and we're just gonna outline that darker shade and we're just gonna decrease our brush tool um, and we're just gonna outline the rest of that color with the base color.
Okay, so we're gonna move on to the darker shade. Selecting that one as our blending color and just following the same process, outlining, going over the colors without losing the colors. Um, you can do different motions. I like first outlining and then going in circular motions, but yeah, depends on your style. And like I mentioned, um, this process is very repetitive. Um, so I'm just gonna leave in the description down below sort of like the process in more detail and if you have any questions just visit adobe.arizona.edu and this tutorial would be on that website with more details about the process of blending in general I'm kind of noticing that our darkest shade isn't actually that dark. Um, so if you look in the picture right there, do you see how dark that shade is in that one? We're gonna select the eyedropper tool and we're going to select the darkest shade from our color palette and we are going to select um, the normal brush tool and we're just gonna go over those areas in our painting um, so yeah just make sure you reassess and see what you're missing if you're missing highlights if you're missing um, more shadows just go over it and blend once again. Um, you're gonna notice that your picture is gonna have a better look than without because shadows provide depth and that's totally what we want. So once again, we're gonna select our blending brush tool or mixer brush tool. And we're gonna leave that um, darker shade as our base color and we're just gonna start blending those out going over the outlines of that shade color and you're gonna see me alternating between that shade and kind of like the transition shade so yeah on this part the darker shade into the skin color so right here you're gonna see me selecting that transition shade and just blending that darker color because from our image we don't want to lose that space in between that darker color and kind of like where the eye stops like that outline and we're just gonna create a lighter blend with the darker shade that we painted on and once again reassessing blending more going over the areas that we think we're missing Okay, so to see our process better, we're gonna select layer one, which is our sketch, and we're gonna decrease the opacity. 
just so that we have a better picture of where our lines are not precise so we're gonna select that branding um the mixer brush tool and just going over those lines and so we're just gonna keep going so increasing the opacity on layer one and we're gonna just start doing the eyeball so we're gonna select that shade with the eyedropper tool once again make sure you reselect layer two which is our painting layer we're just gonna decrease the brush size and we're just gonna go over it follow the same process as we did with the skin Okay, so we're gonna review, um, decrease the opacity, you could also um, take the visibility away, and we're just gonna go over those blank spots, because we don't want those. Make sure you select our layer 2, and we're just gonna paint over those spots. And so we're gonna select the eyedropper tool, select the iris shade color, and decrease the size um, of the brush, and just going over the iris outline. If you make a mistake, you can use Ctrl Z. We can just go ahead and start painting the iris. So we're gonna select that darker shade and as for the iris we want to see where the darker shades are at so we have our pupil and we have kind of like the outline of the eye and mimicking our picture we're just gonna do the same so we're gonna outline the iris with a darker shade and yeah You don't have to be very precise when you're painting the iris because um, it's gonna be mainly covered by highlights and shadows um, and the iris as well. Although you do want some detail because you don't wanna lose that realistic effect that we're trying to achieve. So I just increase the opacity on our sketch and just so that I have kind of like an outline for the pupil and I'm just creating kind of like scribbles throughout. I'm just going to select that shade once again, adding more color and we're gonna start blending that color in. Um, once again, you don't need to be precise on this step, just don't blend as much because we want to keep those um, lines. Okay, so I am reassessing my painting and I noticed that this area right there needs to be darkened to create more depth, so I'm selecting that color, the darkest color from the waterline interior duct. And I wanna reselect my normal brush tool and just going over those areas. Okay, and we go to our layer one. We can decrease the opacity to 0% or we can select the visibility eye right there. We deselect it and we go back to our layer 2. And we're gonna start blending. Um, once you feel comfortable without the outlines of the sketch, you can go ahead and start just blending without them. Um, this will give you a different perspective of the picture and your painting. And we saw that when we had the outlines, um, 
the sketch uh, was hiding some of the imperfections from our painting. And so it's good to just get them off once you get comfortable. Okay, next up, we wanna go into the normal brush tool once again, and we go to our color settings, and we select black. We wanna start filling that pupil, and we compare once again. Okay, and we go back to our color settings and we select white. We don't wanna have harsh highlights. So we go into our brush settings and we select the soft round pressure size brush and we wanna decrease the hardness to 0%. This will give an effect of um, like a glare so what I'm doing right now is I'm selecting the eye dropper tool and I'm kind of mimicking but not exactly the highlights of the eye from the picture and I'm just going over those um, once again this is not exactly how the picture is but um, I thought I'd give it um, a little bit of that effect. Okay, so we go back into our color settings and we reselect the white. And now I'm just drawing some more dots and lines, more highlights. And once again, trying to mimic the picture. Okay, so under the white media brushes, we want to select the Kyle Ultimate Inking Thick and Thin brush tip. And this is going to be the best, or at least I found it to be the best for eyelashes. Um, it depends on the pressure. So during this tutorial, I'm using an iPad with an Apple Pencil. So the more pressure you put on the pen, the more it's going to thicken and so you want to put the least pressure when starting to draw the eyelashes so when drawing the lashes you're gonna notice that eyelashes are just uneven they can go up and they can go down so to give it that effect um, I'm just drawing Lines that go down with a curve and lines that go upwards with a curve. Okay, just reassessing. Um, I decided to add a little bit more of highlights okay and that was it guys um, for more information visit adobe.arizona.edu and thank you so much for watching